Hi, I'm going to be showing you the easiest way to dual boot Ubuntu operating system, like the Linux operating system, with Vista. So basically, the first thing you need to do is make a partition on your hard drive. To do this, just open the start menu, right click computer, manage. It's going to bring out a user account control, which you obviously continue. After that's done, it will pop up with the computer management window. So from here you go on to disk management and it will be connecting to the virtual disk service, which basically shows you all of what's on your disks. The, the partitions of the disks and that kind of stuff here. So I've already made my I've already made my partition here so what you need to do is because I have two hard drives they're both showing up here and this is a partition of this hard drive but whatever hard drive you want to use you need to have enough memory free and then you right click on that and shrink volume and then it will do this and after it's found the amount of space you can shrink it by it will come up with this window which you then use to decrease the size of it and once you've done that you'll end up with another space which you can then format so any the amount of space so in, in megabytes so you want a decent amount of space obviously this is only not enough so that's not ideal it's only about there so make enough space I've done mine 48 gigabytes which is enough for me so what you want to do now is then once you've got the new you will be a new space which you then right click and then you press format and when you format you do the volume label and all that and then you will get an option to change the drive letter and pass which you need to change it to a letter that's not used by any of your media such as DVD ROMs disk drives removable hard drives anything you can't use the same one again once you've done that just cross that off and then go to the Wabi installer and this is what you want to download to install the operating system so you can search it up on google or just go to wabiinstaller.org and it will come up with this which is the simple installer and then just download it it always updates with the newest version of the ubuntu operating system You've downloaded it. The next thing to do is basically just to install it. So you'll get you get the actual thing when you open it, and then you open it, and this will come up, and it will ask you where you want to install it. So I'm going to install it on drive F, which is the one I made in the disk management that I showed you, and then I'm going to choose my language, installation size, whatever you want. So I'm going to say 30 gig because that yeah, I've got a reasonable amount on there because it can be anything. So then you can choose whether you want Ubuntu, Kubuntu, Zubuntu, or Mythbuntu or Mythbuntu, whatever, which is all the different ones which you can go on to Ubuntu.com and then it'll tell you about all the different varieties. So once you've done that, choose the username you want and choose the password. So I'm just going to enter my password here. And then re-enter my password. And you, can, you can't have caps in your username because it doesn't work for some reason. But that's fine. So once you've done that, you just need to click install. And then it starts downloading it. Remaining time approximately one hour. Oh, maybe not. It's still calculating, so after a while it'll tell you. We're only time approximately 18 minutes, so that doesn't take long. So that starts installing it to the petition that you selected, and that'll take a while. So watch the next video I'll make, and I'll show you setting it up, the basics, and installing Windows applications, stuff like that. I'm going to have a whole run of videos. So once you've got this installed, you'll need to know quite a lot about how to set it up and how to use the programs that you want to use in it because it's a bit tricky to set up for people that have been Windows users for this amount of time. These are the little bits that I forgot to include in the video. 
the first one is if you've got a 64-bit capable computer the Wubi installer will automatically download the 64-bit version of Ubuntu. The second one is if you don't want the Ubuntu installation anymore you can actually delete it simply by booting into Windows and going to the add or remove programs and it will be there you can delete the entire operating system and all its contents just by removing the program because it's listed as a program for your convenience so thanks for watching see you in the next video